coffee? Sure, Mama. Speaking of coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. You know how I've always thought I'd like to run a little coffee shop, bakery? Mm-hmm. Well, I keep thinking about that vintage camp over there. Ken's got over there that they said we could just take for free. You mean the rotten, rat-infested piece of crap? Rusty old camper with the trees growing through it? Well, I don't, I don't think it was rat-infested. Well, mouse. That's not all carpeting. Most of that's just a layer of mouse poop. <laughs> that was dumb. That, that was dumb. Every tool's a hammer. Unless it's a screwdriver, then it's a chisel. <laughs> Lee, a torch. Hate that nut. We're not doing that. Because huh. it ain't built till it's overbuilt. Don't force it. Get a bigger hammer. Every day is a school day. Am I being too negative? You can, you know, just tear that carpet out. I can just. The mouse poo goes with it. Oh, so I just do that? Yeah. Okay. But anyways, back to the coffee shop idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it'd be super cute to turn a vintage camper into a coffee shop, a mobile coffee shop. Oh, wow. That seems like a lot of work. Well, yeah, for you. Right. I mean, the first part. It's a lot of work for me, and the second part's a lot of work for you. Right, but I got summers off. No, I'm not saying it's a terrible worst idea I've ever heard. You got a plan? You got to submit a business plan to me for my perusal. Oh, yeah, I got a plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was thinking we could call it Wander Coffee or... Being there. Huh. And we can sell coffee. Because it's a camper. Right. Being there. Yeah. And coffee beans. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the extent of the business plan? Well, and A couple I, potential names? It's sell coffee. Sell coffee. Yeah. And probably some baked goods. Oh, could you do your cinnamon buns? Ooh, cinnamon buns, yeah. <laughs> Those little tiny pies. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt for a second you could do it. I think we could do it. Hmm. You think you could turn a kind of junky vintage camper that, yeah, may or may not have some trees growing through it into a coffee shop? I don't know. I don't know very much about old campers. I don't know anything about coffee shops or building a mobile food, anything. So it seems like the perfect thing for me to jump right into. Right. Yeah, I don't know anything about running a business. <laughs> this is a recipe for... And I mean, I can make coffee, but... Disaster. I don't know anything about fancy coffee. You gotta sell fancy coffee? Well, I think a lot of people like fancy coffee. Like the granola, blueberry, nut... Bean yeah, coffee? like a white chocolate Ugh. macadamia nut chai latte. Oh, that sounds horrible. I don't know how to make something like that. You're gonna I have. Could probably, I could figure it out. I can ask Google. You're gonna have a lot of learning to do. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have a lot of learning to do but too. But I can make cinnamon rolls. You know and what? I can make pie. You know what? Step one of this process is gonna be. Step one was you bringing me this cup of coffee, which was really nice. Mm -hmm. But next thing we got to do is get this rig out of the woods and at our address. So we oh, can. Oh, I already called our friend Steve. He said he'd come help. Of course you did. He's coming after church tomorrow. Of course he is. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Yeah. Well, okay. My day's planned out. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's, 
Let's build a coffee shop. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Just gotta okay. figure out how to make fancy coffee. We got us a crew ready to do this thing. Did you see it, Stevie? Oh, she's beautiful. It's such potential. I know, right? That's what I said. So much she look potential. inside. No. No, don't do that yet. Not yet? No. That's a surprise. Okay. Later. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we can work it that way. All right. I see what you're doing, honey. It. Smart. I think we can get it. We're towing it It's going to have... Oh, oh, man. Right spare. behind my this, pickup. It still has a spare There is a spare right? under it. Yeah. We could ju we just gotta I don't know. I think that roof is rated for any kind of highway speeds. That add-on roof. All right, well, we're gonna find out. We gotta cut some trees out of the way first, some ones that are, you know, growing through it and stuff. Sink. There's no sink in there. Right. What about that's the power the top? It came out of there. Wait for it. Mm. Oh. oh my God, it's stainless steel. Oh stainless yeah. Oh right yeah, we're keeping that. Cream. It probably came right out of there. No, we should put it back in the timber. Oh yeah, I want that. Do you? Yeah. That's right? Awesome. Yeah, let's take it back in there. <laughs> I want to open that door so bad. Uh, let's wait. <laughs> Actually, let's just put them right in the truck. All right, sounds good. Oh, see, look at this. We're saving money already. Yeah, this project's just building itself. It is coming yeah. right together. Oh, I don't know if I can get it out of here. Should we do it, Stop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cut the tree first. Okay. The shoe mat's growing around the table. Okay. That's all right. Nothing to panic about. Right, we, we got We got this. I brought my tree shortener. Hope he doesn't scratch the paint. It's getting awful close. That's a good friend right there. He's just checking to see if the tire's flat. We're thinking we can probably just put some air right in it. Be fine. We can just tow it right home. There's a little bit of air in there. We're letting it all out. Oh no. We can't afford that. We don't have the right end, but I took the guts out. I'm thinking maybe we can get some air in here. Pretty flat. Only on the bottom, I've noticed. She's taking air. Huh. Oh, I think I hear it moving. Yeah, she's coming up. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's going to hold any. It's dry rotted bad, bad, bad. Tell him I think we got it as long as I can get the guts back in fast enough. If the guts enough. back in it, I think he's going to get it. It's, it's going up. Don't know how long it'll stay up, but. That was really sunk in there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I dug out the front hoping that that might encourage it to come out without too much. Come on. Hurry. Faster fingers. Huh? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have another one. He did get it up a little bit more than it was. What did he find? They're bringing an air tank up from his place. Okay. 
cut that and move the cable. Oh. The valve Jeez. stem's leaking. Is that right? Of all the things. Oh, wait a minute. Cap might stop it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got it. Cap's slowing it down. Well, we'll see how long it takes to get it ready to move, and if it's uh, a while, I can blow it up again. Okay. I don't think there's any other blocking down other than the jack, is there? The very back on that side, you got to knock it out with a hammer. Is there? Yeah, there's a piece of tape, honey. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. That might be a cute name for my bakery truck. That one should probably come out. Yeah. Piece of cake. Hammer or something, just knock that oh, one by out. Oh, the it's National nice. Square Dance Camper. Probably because I blew that tire. Oh, I don't know what. Cool. I bet I hadn't even you seen that. No that much, yeah. Perfect. Where do you want your picnic table, homie? Goes with the camper. Oh, <laughs> He's really cleaning the house here. <laughs> we'll be back for it in a few days, right? Yeah. Right there. Like That's a pretty nice picnic table. It's good, it's sturdy. Terrible. It is sturdy. Stevie stood on it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. And I'm fat. I'm not saying you're heavy. Oh, oh I, I know. I, I know. He just needs a little tablecloth. The, the camera adds like 30 pounds. <laughs> rolling in here it's uh temperature is dropping and it's pretty darn uncomfortable right now not necessarily the best day to do this I'll tell you what i could sure go for a nice hot cup of coffee and a fresh baked pastry from my cool camper turned food truck maybe next year at least the weather's nice right Okay, so yeah, it's sleeting now. That's cool. Maybe. So we're just realizing that the camper isn't gonna fit on my trailer like I had hoped because it's the same width and it won't clear the fender so Stevie's talked me into a great idea what is it Stevie oh I got a plan we're gonna hook it down my pickup <laughs> we're just gonna tow it home really slow 0.2 pounds of air in this tire yeah we probably ought to maybe dress that up a little bit There's a little something you don't see every day. We're going with plan B. And uh, we're going to, I guess, tow this camper down the road. I think that roof's okay, don't you? Well. Stevie's been wanting to do this. Yeah, this was his plan all along. I'm not usually involved in this part of the uh, process when they're doing things like this.
me do it in the first place. You're right. I totally wanted to. Well, we ain't home yet. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Those yeah. tires are better than anything you can buy today. Have you looked at it? No, I don't want to. <laughs> I have all the faith in the world that this thing will make seven miles. Is that roof fastened on? Let's hope so. So now I have a decision to make. Because I rode here with Steve because I make it a point to not ride in my husband's plow truck since the mice took up residence in there. But now I'm this. not super comfortable with this situation. Oh, come on, Ames. I got you. No harm will come to your trailer. So you could put more air in that tire, but that ain't always a good thing. Right. If it's round and it's off, let's just save it. Like, I'm, I'm not going to... I bet you I won't break five, ten miles an hour tops. Oh, I definitely would not. I would not, exactly. 100 year old tires. I don't want them to get hot. You think you should have a little more or no? The one that was flat? Yeah, this one. I mean, it's definitely soft. I'd put a little jab in it. And it leaks a little out of the valve stem. Put a little jab in it. This is a very sensitive situation right now. It is. But I bet you don't have five pounds in it, right? No, I doubt it. I doubt it. These split rims are safe, right? Yeah, I mean, nobody killed. Oh, wait a minute. People did get killed. A lot of people. A lot of people, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'll drive this on a plan. I'll just have to go slower. Well, I just don't want it to shred, though, and rip the camper off. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All right, Tank, I just got to apologize for the shaking of the video, but it's darn cold out here, and I'm shivering really hard. Yeah. I'm working hard enough. Snow squalls. That was a strange Hate snow em. squall. So. Oh. doing? Homie says we can throw this mattress in his dumpster. That's good. Ew. I wish the smell in here could be transferred to those people that are watching. Yeah, I'm not touching that. Well, I need you to grab it and pull it out. No. It's fine. Yeah. I'll reach the camera around there so they can just get a, Ugh. you know, can you, can you smell that? The smell is... I feel is... like you don't even need to be here to smell it. I think if a fella could fumigate this and it'd be just fine. No. I'm not taking that. I'm just going to put it in the dumpster. Oh, thank God. It'll quilt. I'm going to videotape your face right now. That is priceless. That's a lot of mouse. Want your padlock back, bro? A lot of mouse poop. I could just wash up that afghan right there. Somebody spent a lot of time hand crocheting that. Yeah, oh. put it on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Bring the camera right in here, honey. Show them around. No, I, no, I want you to. I, can't I want you to video her face. I want you to come in here and <laughs> no, drink it in. No, here you can like take the camera. Oh. <laughs> she ain't going in there, bro. Looks like a turkey met its feet right there or something. They're turkey livers. Some old chemicals. Brim coffee. Okay. You got, I don't know what made all that. It's kind of living area, but it don't look good. Oh, do I want to look in here? Oh, it doesn't open. I'm wondering what's under here. Oh God, Scott, don't do that. Oh, look, it's clean. That's where the electric How awesome entrance is. is. There? Throw that right in the there. How about this one? Anybody home? Oh, there's yeah, a little door. A little door there. Boy, it does smell like rat piss. Something awful, doesn't it? Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's a drawer. Ain't that something? They were thinking. That's kind of too gross to clean up, I think, right? Wow. I'm glad you had a dumpster right handy. Pray that uh, the tires stay hard. Yeah. 
Because we're really not doing anything wrong. You know, if they can go around us, ditch into somebody's driveway if we had to. Right. I mean, they know the town tinker. They know right, what's up. Yeah. It's fine. I think it's fine. Everything's fine. Right? Yeah. It's got to be fine. <laughs> I don't know if it shows on the video, but at five miles per hour, it's dancing back and forth because the tires are so square. But what's funniest about it is that sticker on the back. It's a National Square Dance Camper. And it appears to be square dancing all the way home. Good looking rig. Oh. It's all yours, honey. That's really great. Isn't it something? It is. It can be something. How long did it take us to get home? Anybody check the time when we left there? 15 minutes. <laughs> it tows like a dream. <laughs> Eight miles per hour maximum. It's I can't... almost exactly an hour. An hour? <laughs> Halfway across Seven town? Miles. Oh. I can't believe that other tire held there. That's crazy. I, I can't either. Here it is. Did you we even made put it. Put air in this tire? Nope. No, we didn't put a drop in it. It's old air. <laughs> what a rig! Well, we made it home. I'll tell you one interesting thing about this beautiful rig is it's got an extra door. It's got two doors: one in the back on this side, and the front on the other. Um. I think we, I mean, we're just kicking some ideas around right now, but we're thinking we'll take that door out, use the other one and put the serving window here. It's about as far as the plan has gotten so far. We have no idea what we're doing and no idea what we're in for. Actually, we do have a little bit of an idea because we fixed up an old camper, not this old, um, but it had, it had terrible water damage. Uh, and this one, do, I don't know, knock on wood, it doesn't seem like it has uh, had much water damage. They, I think the roof started to leak and they put this thing on and it actually has been working. And it, and it really hasn't gotten very wet inside. But we're going to find out when we start tearing into it and ripping out the carpets and all that stuff. And I guess I'll be bringing you along. If you're interested, you can uh, see it all unfold. Oh boy. Well, that's it for the first installment of <laughs> my wife's coffee and pastry wagon. Uh, she still hasn't settled on a name and I don't think we really need to worry about it quite yet. We got a long ways to go. Uh, so if you're interested in this sort of thing, make sure you click subscribe, stay tuned, click the bell, uh, and you can watch this old camper ruined my life <laughs> great it's not great thanks for your time thanks for watching make sure you click subscribe make sure you click the bell come back and see us again god bless you god bless the united states of america